Welcome to the Morph Neo channel, where regular and crypto games meet. If you love regular FPS games, blockchain-based NFT and play-to-earn games then subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to watch our videos, and stay up to date. If you are a fan of horse racing games, there is a project, which is the first derivative gaming platform that aims to combine the world of metaverse with the real world of thoroughbred horse racing. This video is a quick review about a game called Silks, the project is also bringing with itself a collection of 10,000 Silks Genesis avatars in horse racing suits, too, for a more immersive experience. While other metaverse projects are trying to shift the world into physical or virtual, the game of Silks is a smart move, which complements both ends of this world quite smartly. What is Silks NFT game? Silks is a multiverse P2E metaverse game offering a virtual world for the players to experience the adrenaline of having their own thoroughbred racehorses just like the Elite. The Silks NFT game will allow users to buy, trade, and interact with many in-game assets which also would be non-fungible tokens, including Silks horses, avatars, lands, stables, and more. On the rewards front, the players can earn tokens by simply showcasing their gaming skills and becoming a part of the high-stakes racehorse ownership world. This is where the interesting part begins. Every racehorse is somewhat connected to its real-world counterparts. Silks is most similar to Dynasty Fantasy Sports games. The Silks game deploys a data-driven approach that tracks the progress, performance, bloodline, and racing results of the real-world counterparts of the digital clones in the game. Moreover, each time the real-life version of the horse wins or creates offspring, the owner of the digital racehorse receives some tokens as a reward, Game of Silks is a rich ecosystem where, through strategic gameplay, you can build your own dynasty in the high-stakes world of thoroughbred horse racing. Silks is based on the Ethereum mainnet with Layer 2 solutions and is under development by Tropical Racing, a public company that runs 200-acre horse farms that breed, syndicate, and race horses. If this sounds interesting then let us go further, but before that a short disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor, everything in this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Always do your own research and consult several sources before making any investment decisions. All the information about the game in this video can be found on the game's website, in the white paper and several other sources on the internet. The information we gathered from these sources is intended to be accurate at the time of recording of this video. Please note however that the blockchain-based gaming world is a very fast-spaced industry and is in a constant state of development and evolution. With our quick review series, we wish to give you a short summary of many blockchain games, highlighting some important features of the games, scoring and ranking them solely for orientation purposes and not for judgment. If you have already seen our previous quick review videos and know our scoring system, you can simply skip the next two minutes and continue with the video in the next chapter. At the end of the scoring process, an overall score will be created for each game we have reviewed. Our review and scoring system is very simple and answers the following questions. 1. Is the game already playable? If the answer is yes, then 1 point, otherwise 0. 2. Is the game free to play? If you can start to play the game without any investment, then the score is 1 point, otherwise 0. 3. What game modes are available? Is the game a PvP or a PvE game or both modes are available? If only one mode is available, it could be PvP or PvE then the score is 0 points otherwise it is 1 point. 4. Is the game a play-to-earn game? For the purpose of our scoring system the definition of a play-to-earn game is where you can directly and unconditionally earn coins, or tokens through gameplay that you can directly convert to stable coins or fiat money. If the answer is yes, then 1 point. If, however, players can earn coins upon some conditions or players can only use the in-game currency they receive as a reward to upgrade their assets, or buy NFTs, and cannot directly convert it to real money, then the score will be zero points. 5. The fifth question will have two parts. One part is whether the game token is in the first 1000 ranked by market cap on CoinMarketCap website. If yes than half a point, otherwise zero points. And finally, we can give half a point based on our subjective opinion of the game, where we take into consideration factors like, the game itself, network, team, activity, transparency etc. Overall, the maximum score a game can get is 5 points. Let the analysis begin. 
First question. Is Silk's NFT game already playable? As it might have been clear by now, the Silk's gameplay is based on the real-world US thoroughbred racehorse economy. According to Silk's, almost 20,000 foals are born and registered in the country each year. The industry is massive and a horse that's turned one or above, yearling, is sold for $60,000 on average. There are around 50 million loyal fans to the event, and around $11 billion are dependent on their outcomes. Furthermore, some of the championship-winning stallions can be paid upwards of $100,000 for every offspring they create. The Silks project aims to integrate real-world racehorse datasets, including bloodlines, training progress, and performance. This data integrated together brings the blockchain into shape. The process used by Silks creates NFTs from yearlings. Moreover, other in-game assets such as stables, farmlands, and Silk's avatar NFTs are also available, with each NFT providing a new way for the users to earn an income from each kind of NFT. The Silk's avatars that players use and the horses in the game are structured like NFTs. Players must own a Silk's avatar before owning a Silk's horse, as these avatars help identify players in the Silk's metaverse. The initial crop of Silk's horses were minted in mid-2022. However, subsequent crops will be minted annually to coincide with the registration of yearling thoroughbred steers in the real world. All horse NFTs will be sold via a blind sale, which means that a player has a chance to get a high-value horse regardless of financial situation. As the Silks metaverse will have a finite amount of virtual terrain, players can purchase one-acre plots structured as NFTs. This land is needed to build stables for Silks horses and is purchased with STT, the in-game currency of Silks. According to the roadmap, Silks plans to open the doors to its metaverse in Q1 2023. By springtime, they estimate that the first batch of yearlings should be racing, and players will start earning rewards. However, there will be a slight delay between the metaverse opening and races going live. As a result, players can use this time to build stables, start pinhooking, syndicate their horses, or stake the horses in stables to start earning from the overall ecosystem. All in all, Silks is not a playable game yet, therefore, we give to this topic zero points. Score, zero. Is Silks free to play? Silks avatars are a player's identity within the ecosystem. Every skills avatar consists of a combination of colors, patterns, and attributes that create a unique crest. This crest acts like a brand's logo and usually appears on all their assets, such as the farm, stables, and the racehorse's blankets too. What are the Silks avatars? The Silks Genesis avatars are a collection of digital uniforms representing the identity of individual racehorse owners in the Silks Metaverse. In total, 10,000 Genesis Silks avatars have been released in two separate batches, and every player must own one of the Silks avatars to participate in the Metaverse and start earning rewards. The Silks Genesis avatars serve as your access pass to the Silks Metaverse and allow you to start earning in-game rewards. After the Silks avatar is minted, it gets associated with the player's wallet. In order to receive rewards, the avatar and the racehorse should be associated with the same wallet. Avatar holders get access to exclusive events, experiences, and giveaways. Another exciting part for Silks avatar holders is that they get a lifetime mint pass. This will give each avatar the right to mint one yearling each year from the annual crop. As the number of players increases, this benefit will stand out and give a sense of exclusivity to its users. Why buy a Silks avatar? Alongside providing access to the metaverse and the ability to start earning rewards, the Silks Genesis avatars are also required to mint a Silks Racehorse NFT. Each Silks Genesis avatar NFT provides the owner with a lifetime mint pass for the annual yearling sale. Each year, every NFT is given one pass to mint one Silks Horses NFT. Furthermore, holders will receive a fully functional 3D character that will be used to navigate the Silks metaverse. As the game of Silks ecosystem matures, Silks Genesis avatar holders will gain access to exclusive experiences, giveaways, and real-life events. You can purchase the Silks Genesis avatars for 0.25 ETH, which is approximately 313 US dollars at the time of this video recorded. Once they are gone, your only option would be to buy the Silks Genesis avatars on secondary markets, such as OpenSea. However, 
the Silk's Genesis avatars sold on OpenSea tend to have a higher price tag or have already used the current year's yearling mint pass, meaning you won't be able to mint a Silk's racehorse NFT for the current year. What are the Silk's horses NFTs? The Silk's racehorse NFTs are the cornerstone of the ecosystem. These are the NFTs that are derivatives of real-world assets if thoroughbred racehorses. Silks will host an annual yearling sale, allowing Silks Genesis Avatar NFT holders to mint one Silks Thoroughbred Racehorse NFT each year in a blind mint. This totally levels the playing field for participants and removes the chance for participants with deep pockets to purchase the best horses. A yearling is a horse still yet to race but is being trained to get to the track within the following year. You can also purchase a starter pack from the game's website. Each starter pack comes with a common Genesis avatar and a delivery pass for an unrevealed Series 1 racehorse. This is everything you need to start building your dynasty. The price of this pack is 0.83 ETH at the time of the video recorded, which is approximately 1,040 US dollars. Summarized, Silk's NFT game will be not free to play, therefore we give this topic 0 points. Score, 0. What game modes are implemented in the game? PvP or PvE or both? Silks is the first true NFT, derivative gaming, project that leverages blockchain and metaverse technology to bridge the real world with the digital world. The Silks metaverse will be powered by massive, decentralized data sets representing generations of real thoroughbred bloodlines, historic and current racing results and data representing the birth and development of actual racehorses throughout their life cycle. The digital assets native to the skills ecosystem will be automatically created on the blockchain in real time from public data that is published through many sources and verified by the skills community through consensus and proof of stake. The Silks economy is multifaceted and allows for various forms of interaction and gameplay as follows. Mining SLK token, the entire Silks economy will be fueled by real events that are verified by Silks miners who will ear SLK as an incentive to ensure accurate verification. Purchasing a horse, the Skills Metaverse was mint its first crop of horses in mid-2022. However, buyers may purchase an unlimited amount of Silks horses in the secondary market. All Silks horses will be sold in a traditional blind NFT sale with a subsequent reveal. Therefore, all individuals who purchase a horse during the specified sale will pay the same price for their horse, and will not know what they have received until it is revealed at a later date. The distribution of horses is completely random for the purposes of providing a level playing field for all skills participants. Staking a horse on a farm, the maintenance need for a silks horse can easily be outsourced to a third-party horse farm willing to accept the horse. In the silks metaverse, this is called staking. When a silks horse is staked on a private third-party farm, it will be subject to a lockout period during which it cannot be sold. In exchange for a farm keeping your horse, during this period, an individual must share a percentage of any STT earned by their horse with the horse farm owner. In addition, all remaining STT earned during the staking period will be pooled on a pro rata basis with the owners of all horses staked on the farm at that time. Owners of private farms will have complete freedom to accept a horse, and will receive a percentage of the winnings generated by all horses on their farm while they are staked there, with the owners of all horses staked on the farm at that time. About the further different gameplay, you can rear on the white paper such as pin hooking, selling an unraced horse, syndicating, fractionalizing the ownership of a horse, speculating and developing land, earning rewards by racing or breeding, retiring horses, and other revenue streams. All in all, Silks will have only PvE game mode, so, we give this topic 0 points. Score, 0. Is the play to earn format implemented in the game? Can you directly earn coins or tokens by gameplay? According to the white paper, this metaverse will be governed through a decentralized autonomous organization, DAO, with SLK token holders able to vote on proposed changes to the platform. Players can convert STT to SLK at a variable exchange rate. Another cornerstone of the Silks ecosystem is mining, to achieve the direct link between Silks horses and their real-world counterparts. Decentralized datasets are used with information about each thoroughbred's bloodlines, developmental progress and results of races. Miners verify data through a proof-of-stake consensus mechanism, with mining rewards distributed across the SLK. 
At the launch of Silks, the initial datasets will be centralized, however, as the Silks metaverse expands over time, these datasets will become fully decentralized. Ultimately, this mining process can provide consistent income for many community members. Moreover, the additional STT earned during staking will be pooled, and distributed with the owner of all the horses staked on that farm at the given point of time. The farm owners are encouraged to accept horses with high chances of winning. This can be an additional source of income for them. The bigger the farm gets, the lower the risk. Meanwhile, the horse owners are encouraged to find farms that have some of the best horses staked there. This staking procedure in the Silks metaverse will limit the supply of horses in the secondary market, which will increase the rarity of the assets and hence the price. The staking mechanism at Silks also enables the players to distribute their risks. Tokenomics of Silks Silks has a dual token economy, SLK, and STT. The Silks DAO token, SLK is the primary governance token of the Silks ecosystem. The SLK token will be backed by a treasury wallet holding liquidity, and stable digital financial instruments to secure the DAO. SLK has a total supply of 500 million. The Silks transaction token STT will be the secondary and play-to-earn token used for in-game transactions and rewards. The STT token will also be backed by a treasury wallet holding liquidity, and stable digital financial instruments to secure the DAO. STT has a total supply of 5 billion. To sum up what was said and based on our extensive research, we are not confident that with Silk's game STT tokens can be earned directly by gameplay. Therefore, according to our set of rules, zero points can be awarded for the topic whether tokens can be directly earned by gameplay. So, we can give zero points to this question. Score, zero. Market cap and subjective opinion. The game's two tokens SLK and STT are not listed on Cohen Market Cap website yet. So, the score for this is zero points. Our subjective score based on the game, network, team, investors, activity, transparency etc. is half a point. Summary of our analysis. 1. Is the game already playable? No, Silk's Metaverse hasn't been launched yet. Score, zero points. 2. Is the game free to play? To play the game you must purchase some Silk's Avatar NFTs, so it is not a free to play game. Score, zero points. 3. What game modes are available in Silk's? This game will have only PvE game mode. Score, zero points. 4. Is the game a play-to-earn game? There is no conclusive information on this question. Score, 0 points. 5. Is it in the top 1000 by market cap? The tokens are not listed yet. Score, 0 points. Our subjective score half a point. The final score is half a point out of a maximum of 5 points. We hope that our quick review and comparison method we have set up has helped you to get to grips with this game and that the analysis and overall score has helped you to make your decision to learn more about the game. What do you think about Silks? Would you like to play with this game? Please share your thoughts about the game in the comment section below. Would you like to get a deeper analysis video about Silks? If yes, please drop it in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give a thumb up, we would really appreciate it. In our next video we prepare a quick review about Calvaria, so please make sure to subscribe to the Morph Neo channel not to miss it and hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching and see you next time in our next game review, gameplay, or tutorial video. Bye.